one more step and you'll be sorry. You know these people. Powers? Where did you get that? You've seen the lengths I go to get what I want, haven't you? What do my parents have to do with it? Let's just say that financially their little business is hanging by a thread. I have well-placed connections that could cut that thread or worse. All I need to do is snap my fingers. What? You wouldn't stoop so low. You know very well I would. So this is what I want. Lose the competition and your family keeps smiling. But Watch out. By lose, I mean fail. I want to see the worst scores possible in all disciplines. How, how could you? Don't forget, it's the losing that counts, Cham. You reacted well. No one knows the lengths he'd go to. Patrick informed the authorities and they're on the lookout. He won't try anything now, or it's prison again for him. He's also prohibited from going anywhere near you. When he got what he wanted, we were eliminated from the competition. There's still one hope. If we beat a higher rated academy than Beechwood, we can take part in the final and take revenge on Esteban. But I thought Beechwood was the best. Not exactly. There's still one academy that Esteban and his financial clout hasn't managed to pummel into the ground. But surely our defeat has also damaged us financially, hasn't it? I heard that our backers were going to offer the Sycamore Academy to the highest bidder. That is true, but an old friend has offered to help. We are going to be taken in by another academy, the Cherry Tree. And where's that? In China. We're off tomorrow. Q, you're a savior. Welcome to my academy, Jade. I warn you, the competition with me will be tough. I'm not going to make it easy for you. Okay, quit the hard talk. It doesn't wash with me. I'm so pleased to see you. So this is the Cherry Tree Academy. What you see is the fruit of deep reflection about the art of life and inner calm. Here we learn to channel violent energy and turn it into a force of goodness. There is no victory without calm, no control without peace. The Academy students are often tormented souls, incapable of mastering their own emotions. They come here to find peace in their being. Or because it's a school with the best view I know. Ginger, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm pleased to see you, Jade. Ginger came two months ago. We never lost contact and Ginger was having a rough time. So she asked if she could join me. It's the best place to raise a kid. Where's the dad? Who cares? What matters is the future. Look at her, isn't she just magnificent? Yes, Q, she is. I think I'm gonna be happy here. Three months had passed since our humiliating defeat. The press had finally turned their attention elsewhere. We had withdrawn from the world and moved closer to nature and horses. I felt great. My anger had dissipated in this calm. The mountainside walks and the restful chattering of the streams eased my winter frustrations. However, to satisfy my desire for revenge, I needed more. I started training like a high-level competitor. Nothing had come between my objectives and myself. Run into the competition against Q's academy reawakened an unpleasant feeling in me. I'd become short-tempered. No one dared approach me, let alone play cards with me. It was true the stakes were high. If we lost, everything was over, for us and the Sycamore Academy. Q and her team were delightful to us, but there was no way they were going to let us win. A place in the final was at stake. It wasn't a good time to talk to me, and some found out to their peril.
am I in the way? Actually, yes, but seeing as you're here... I, I just came to say... What? Um, the others are organizing a campfire evening, and, and, and I thought, if I left you a map, you might want to join us, if that's all right, of course. There's no time for having fun. In case you didn't know, this competition might be our last ever. And all you can think of doing is building bonfires. Great teamwork, well done. <sighs> I've really got to learn anger management. Poor Miguel. He only wanted to be nice. Maybe I should go and find them. After all, it's maybe the last quiet moment we'll spend together. But how do I find them now? It's a section of map. The second half is missing. Hi. Can you tell me if you've seen the other students? No, not for a while. They were busy organizing a party. Don't tell me you haven't been invited. Well... You were invited, but you said no, and now you wish you hadn't, is that it? That's the head and tail of it. There are some things you have to learn, and fast. Friends are hard to come by these days, and as you grow up, they become more and more precious. Never forget how important... Look, nice of you to say so, but right now I've got to find them first and fast. I'd like to help, but I have no idea where they've gone. Just a minute. I found this piece of map earlier when I was tidying the student center. Maybe it's got something to do with the party. Thanks for everything. Pleasure. I hope it helps you find them. It maybe shows the meeting place. Thank you. Good evening, young lady. Not training this evening? To tell you the truth, my chums are organizing a party, and I'm trying to find them. That's strange. I would have thought a strong character like yourself could put frivolity aside and concentrate on competition. That's what I thought to begin with. But what made you change your mind? I said to myself, our moments together were what counted for me most of all. I see. I haven't had much of a chance to be with them lately. You mean be with him? You what? I don't know where your friends have gone, but I do know if you take the left path as you leave here and walk along the paddy field, you'll come to a small shop. That's where I'd go for a party. Here, take this map. It's easier. Great. I'll check it out.